If you've suffered from burnout or are currently suffering from burnout, there are things we want to do to ensure that we make your self-care a priority. We want to get you back aligned with your truth so you can re-engage with your life. For the best advice on self-care and personal empowerment, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to get notified when I release a new video every Thursday. If you've suffered from burnout or are living with burnout, then you know that your system has gone into overwhelm. Everything has been firing at top speed for so long that it can feel like all you want to do is disengage, disassociate. It can feel like your motivation has completely slipped away and that you've lost the will to really do anything again. And so what we want to do is we want to nourish your body, your soul, your mind. We want to make sure that we make your self-care a priority so that you can get the strength you need, you can get the resilience you need, and you have tools at your disposal that keep you in a safe space to re-engage with your life and the people in it. Here are three things I want you to consider as you recover from burnout. The most important thing establish some healthy boundaries. One of the things that can lead to burnout is our tendency to say yes to everything and everyone, thinking that if we say no, it will set us back somehow. One of the ways we recover from burnout is by determining what our boundaries are, what feels good, what doesn't feel good, what are our yeses in life, what are our noes. So starting the process of establishing what are my healthy boundaries, maybe it means we say no to doing things with people Monday through Thursday, and Fridays and Saturdays are maybes. That can be one example. The next important thing we want to do is prioritize rest. So the parasympathetic nervous system, the part of our nervous system that is all about rest and digest and integration of information, when we're in burnout, that parasympathetic nervous system has been offline for a while. It hasn't had a chance to take in information and synthesize it all. Instead, our sympathetic nervous system has been on high alert this whole time. It's been in flight or fight, which is why we get so exhausted, so depleted, and to the point of burnout. So we need to prioritize rest, and this can look any way you want it to. Maybe it means that you sleep longer periods at night. Maybe it means you engage in a practice of yoga nidra, which is a deep restorative yogic sleep that's incredibly nourishing for the system. Perhaps you are a person who really enjoys naps and wants to fit multiple naps into your day. But when we are in burnout, we need to allow our parasympathetic nervous system time to remember how to come online, to remember how to rest and digest. The third thing we want to do is we want to move our body. So just as much as it's important to rest, we also need to bring some movement to our system. Movement fires up endorphins that leave us feeling good and make us feel better. It's also really beneficial for our overall health and well-being. Now, in terms of movement, we want to make sure that it's mindful movement, movement that feels good to the system. So you might not go out and run a marathon. That might not be the best for a system that's operating in burnout. But instead, we might decide to stretch every other morning. You might choose to go out dancing with friends. You might establish a home yoga practice. You might even simply go for a walk around the block. But we do want to get the body moving because when we move, we start to re-inhabit our body. And when we've been in burnout, the tendency is to disassociate, disassociate, to take ourselves out of our bodies, out of our system, 
because when we're in burnout, when we're that overwhelmed, this can become a space that's not okay to be because it's exhausted, it's feeling depleted, and it's not allowing you to do what you might normally do. So we want to start bringing some safe, mindful movement back to the body to allow yourself the opportunity to feel what it's like to be here. Now, when I was experiencing burnout, the practice that enabled me to come back to myself was running. I actually didn't sign up for any races. I didn't sign up for any long runs. I just ran when I felt like I needed to. I didn't wear a watch. I didn't pay attention to how long I was running or how far. I simply ran. And by disconnecting a goal from it and just allowing myself the pleasure of running, which is something I I really enjoy, it allowed me to feel back into my body and pay attention to what my body had to tell me. I'd love to know, have you ever suffered from burnout and what helped you recover? Comment below and share your thoughts with us here in this community. If you're in the process of recovering from burnout, I wish you all the best on your journey and I hope these self-care strategies help support you. If you liked this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell to get notified when I release a new video every Thursday. And if you know somebody who's on the verge of burnout or who is currently suffering from burnout, please share this video with them and maybe one of these strategies will help them in their recovery as well. Stay ignited out there. See you soon. Bye.